Atop Tuesday night, Pharrell Williams debuted his collection for Louis Vuitton men atop Paris's iconic Pont Neuf Bridge, and although he is best known for getting the world to chant happy, he also brought joy. Paris Fashion Week kicked off with the musician, producer, and designer's first show since replacing Virgil Abloh. Some of the greatest figures in fashion and entertainment, such as Rihanna and ASAP Rocky, who were both unmarried at the time, attended Abloh's Wizard of Oz themed debut for Louis Vuitton in 2018. They sat first row in denim Daimler checked costumes, right off the runway, with Rihanna's baby belly beautifully exposed, Rocky and R.I.H. were the faces of Williams' debut LV ad. Williams, the label's new creative director, was seen by the crowd recreating the iconic yellow brick road with the label's golden Daimler check across the Seine. In addition to Rihanna and Rocky, the front row included a who is who of black luminaries from the worlds of sports, fashion, and entertainment. During a break from her Renaissance tour, Beyoncé appeared in court wearing a luxurious gold pajama set from the designer. Her husband Jay-Z allegedly played some of Williams' biggest songs for the crowd following the concert. Beyoncé was seen with the brand's new spokeswoman, Zendaya, who was wearing a patterned two-piece with jeweled details. In addition to Naomi Campbell and Kelly Rowland, we also saw Tyler, the creator, ASAP Ferg, Jaden and Willow Smith, June Ambrose, Lewis Hamilton, Skepta, Coilure, Clint, Maluma, and Anita. Pusha T and No Malice, reunited as the Clips, made an appearance on the catwalk in identical leather ensembles that were bejeweled and airbrushed. For those of us who could not be in the star-studded front row, Williams kindly provided a brief clip of the ceremony. The film's opening sequence, dubbed Pupil King and directed by Todd Turso, featured Williams' voices of fire choir belting out an uplifting joy, refrain. A short but profound debate about aspiration and accomplishment took place along the same between the artist Jared Carmichael, dressed in Vuitton, and the comedian Henry Taylor. Do you accept the depth of your yearning for it? Carmichael said to the elder black guy, sometimes, in my shyness, I do not say, like, truly how badly I want it. In his reflective reaction, Taylor echoed the adage, actions speak louder than words. Williams successfully silenced many who were suspicious of his ability to follow in Abloh's now-honored footsteps with the vignette, despite his well-documented collaborations with Chanel, Adidas, and Comme de Garçons, and the success of Billionaire Boys Club and Bape. With a collection that may be its most approachable in recent years, the label recreated many of its most known themes in a way that was both ambitious and gender-neutral, and ultimately quite wearable. In an interview with Women's Wear Daily, Williams said, I am the client, a statement that echoes the collection's young allure. Many of the pieces were reminiscent of what a guy may wear to school, including shorts, ties, and backpacks, but with a military twist, even down to the bare paw slippers. Following in the strange footsteps of a Wes Anderson film, Williams seems ready to send the fashion lads, girls, and folks off to war or, at the very least, revolt. Williams's ingenious reinvention of the aforementioned Daimler check as Damaflake, a spin on the ubiquitous camouflage pattern, epitomized this spirit. The pattern was seen on calfskin, denim, material, twills, fleeces, and silks, as well as a bespoke suit worn by the designer himself thanks to a 8-bit Atari Damier theme made by computerized craftsman E.T. Craftsman, as noted in Downpour, a digital magazine. New main hues, gold and silver embossing, and copper accents on classic trunks and luggage are all part of the LV logo's recent redesign. Other locations where Taylor's deeply personal touch and artistic expression was felt were in the micro-embroidered on tailoring, denim, and accessories, as described by Rain. According to Williams, Laver is a diverse global community that shares a deep appreciation for the Maison's core values, with the tagline of his home state of Virginia, Virginia is for lovers, serving as inspiration. Williams told WWD that the idea came from the coincidence of his appointment to the job and Valentine's Day. It is like love at first sight, he told the magazine. LV might stand for Louis Vuitton but it can also stand for lovers who savor each and every moment and appreciate the finer things in life. At the conclusion of the runway show, the mixed-race choir Voices of Fire performed their latest tune Joy, Unspeakable, which included Williams. 
According to a press statement sent to the Griot, the polymath's influence could be felt throughout the whole production, starting with the music. Backstage, Dame Pat McGrath used products from the polymath's human race skincare range on the models. Abloh's departure from his historic role as head of menswear at Louis Vuitton in 2018 was a devastating blow to the whole fashion industry and his company.